Okay, so good afternoon. I don't know whatever is happening in your. To, uh, okay, stop it. Stop. 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 I'm actually not going to cut this. I have a banger for you today. A banger. I'm not kidding. This thing is going to be beautiful. So behind me right now, there is a piece of code. I'll show you that quickly. Did you see that? Okay, hiding again. For the next five to seven minutes, I'm going to show you something really powerful in JavaScript, in TypeScript. Let's suggest TypeScript. Stop doing JavaScript. Come on, people, stop it. Okay. Uh, what is going to happen here is me explaining you why two things. Why everything in JavaScript is an object and why you should never, ever, ever in your life touch the dot underscore underscore proto in your code. Okay? So, this code is going to be hard. If you're doing JavaScript for the first time in your life or you've been doing JavaScript, just you're pretty new into it, this thing is going to be hard. So, I have other videos that are pretty easy explaining JavaScript concept with a big smile and a lot of enthusiasm. That's what I do. My name is Davey. I write code. I'm building the Gems platform and I take these a few minutes each day to explain this concept. So if you like and subscribe to this video, you're going to have, have some of them, you know, every day, every week, depends. But I'm not begging for your like here. I'm begging for your attention. Let me make sure that I have your attention right there because what I'm about to do is going to be really, really challenging. Okay, let's see. What is happening on this line right now? We have a person dot underscore underscore proto that is equal person with capital P prototype. It says it's true there. Okay, so I want you to understand that that entire line eight comes from this line number six. Just by writing const dot person is equal new person, right? That class over there. But just by writing that, we create this, this link right there. I'm just gonna show you quickly here. If I were to do this, you see, that thing now is false because we have an object person right now that is just an empty object. It basically comes from an object. So that's basically saying, hey, this is a new object, right? So if we go back to this, we have uh, this construct that happened there. So what literally happened there is the fact that uh, an object person right now has been uh, created based on the prototype of a person. And now when you do that, JavaScript underneath create in the instance and that part I really want you to make sure that you understand. I really want to make sure that you understand that what I'm about to say. Underscore underscore prototype, you should never use it. But we use, I'm showing you that in the video here to sh explain a really important concept. The underscore underscore proto is added to the instance to the, 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 the child that is created based on the parent, which is basically, in this case, the person with capital P. Okay, so in one of my previous video, I ask you, uh, how would you write person dot keys off? Right, so that here, how would you write that, right? And it's basically uh, complaining. It says, hey, uh, person keys off is not a function. Yes, it is not a function. That makes completely sense. But how would you write that? That was the point. So before we go and implement that function, let's move a little bit aside here. Um, I would like to show you what happens underneath, right? Underneath. And you're going to see every single prototype until we reach a point where you go into understand why it says person dot keys off is not a function because it is not a function but actually why is not a function now before i call it and my, uh, my entire terminal is crashing i'm just gonna leave it like that and just have it as undefined i'm not calling it so when you write person dot keys off the first thing it does it says hey person do you have a property keys off and the way it does it, it would just look into that object person and then try to find it. If that thing was there, it will not say undefined. And then if it doesn't find it, it goes to the parent. 
and he's go, he go, he, he go and look into the parent. But where is the parent? The parent is defined by this line. The child is person, and then it's underscore proto proto, and then you have person. So you gotta look into person dot prototype dot kizar. That's the next uh, 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 part in, in the lookup, and it says, oh, that thing is also undefined. Guess what? Doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. So now it says person dot prototype is the child who's gonna be his parent. If person dot prototype is the child, who is his parent? Pretty easy. The way you find a parent is basically in this case I have an easy way to just say type of person and I look into uh, what is that thing say oh function which means that yeah it makes completely sense a class is a function if you didn't know that that is in, that is news class is a person so if you keep going down there you're going to see that now I can then say function dot prototype is equal to a person dot proto if we if i move a little bit right there you're going to see it says true all right again you see that proto just appear again but it appears on person and person is the child of this one function right so that's why we do making that search right there so by doing so look what's gonna happen now i'm gonna go and say hey function dot prototype and I'm gonna look for keys off and it's gonna say undefined it say okay if you're undefined let me go and look at the at the parent level well who's the parent again who's the parent here if you know your JavaScript you know that we're reaching the top we're reaching the top of the chain right there so the way I'm going to find out is just to go inside the function dot prototype and I'm gonna look into the proto of it and guess what object dot prototype true you know that line I just wrote there that line there is the line that says everything in JavaScript is an object literally that line right there on line 17 says everything in JavaScript is an object so if you got to that point you can then go and and look for let me move that a little bit right there. If you go, you went up to that, you can now say, hey, keys off. And now you see, it says undefined. From that point on, it reached the top of the chain. And then it will bubble back and says, oh, uh, uh, this one, this function here, if you try to call it, it's gonna say, it's not a function, it's gonna crash the entire program because it did the search and then it's returned that it's undefined and then on that undefined it will do something like that it will just say undefined and it will try to call a function that is undefined and that will crash by the way if you're using TypeScript, that thing will never happen if you use javascript it will happen and it will happen right in front of your your customer so please use TypeScript. did i already say that multiple times okay use TypeScript. okay now you see that was the prototype chain in, in, in a nutshell. So I would like to show you a few more things before we move on here. So if I go back to uh, this implementation, keys off, if I go inside the person class and I go and create a keys off function, let's just make sure that that returns that object right there. We're going to see that the the um right now we now see that keys off appears right there and then it returns true it returns username inside there and that makes completely sense we have a property username that is being created right there however everything after that doesn't have a key off it's still in this one right we add that on, on on the prototype right there as you can see but everything here is still not uh, it doesn't have the, the keys off it's gonna crash over there and so on and so forth so you see in the chain if you define a function in the chain at some level in the chain it is accessible to every uh, instance below that chain right same thing if you want keys off for example to be available literally everywhere guess what you, you gotta do 
you gotta go all the way up here so let me go up here we're going to say object dot prototype and we're gonna add the function keys up right there and let's return this right now and then if we go all the way up we're just gonna make sure that it's not red anymore we are just gonna add an interface right there on object so we kind of augmenting that and we say let's add a key is off right there which is a string in that case and if you go all the way down now you see keys off doesn't complain anymore if we call it it says keys off is in there now by doing so you could easily remove that part and then everything will still work because we put it all the way at the top and then it bubbles down to every instance right now so to also see that in a different way i'm gonna keep it right there and then on this one which is at the person level what we're going to do we're just going to join uh, this this way so now if i look at line 22 you see it just say username right actually what we could do right there to even show that better let me move a little bit aside we could just say hey you join them and you uppercase that so we we see it better right there right we see that it got uppercase uh, uh, right there but every and uh, right at the bottom that thing is still show keys off in an array so you see right at the top i put the keys off every children uh, from that point on ac has access to it but at the person level i defined another one and it and give it uh, gave it a different definition and you see that the, the different thing. so all i'm saying right now is you can do some magic when you understand the difference between underscore underscore proto and the prototype okay that video was intense it went quite fast hopefully you understand what happened right there and one last thing before we leave before we leave i just want to make sure that when you see that underscore underscore right there because we're using typescript just giving you a quick tip here we can go here and then add that like this and if we do that so we add that into the object it's gonna complain over there um okay this i don't, don't have overlap did i write it right well guess what we um we could bring that to a, at a different level here. Let's see. We're gonna bring it. Um, where where is the interface of person? It says it doesn't have an overlap. Let's look into it one more time. Okay. Um, there is uh, some weird TypeScript stuff here. Okay. So this video is much. It's way longer than I planned. I hope this was completely clear. Yeah, I'm not editing this video. I'm just recording it in one go and then share that with you. If you love it, well, um, let's just put it this way. There is a button down there. I already said that. If you click that button, I make sure that I share with you these nugget, nuggets of code and, and wisdom and make sure that you become a better software engineer. Did, did, did you click that button already? Okay, cheers. Bye.